Hey there on the SoCal playing Half-Life 2. Last time really felt like endgame kind of thing. Computer fan is going crazy here, and I have no idea why. Yeah, so uh the turbo gravity gun is like an absurd game changer that just changes the whole dynamic of everything and feels like a natural conclusion. So I'm not sure what is left of the game. Do you want me to hitch a ride? I will, I guess. Like, if you're gonna invite me along so politely like that, <laughs> let's just... Let's just hitch a ride and let's go. Let's not go very far. We can't do any... Okay, I guess we had to wait for the traffic to clear in front. I that makes sense. I guess it was high. Oh, you're having fun there, huh? Yeah, don't worry. I'm following you, or I'm going the opposite way. So from what, what I was told, like, that's like what happens to people who end up uh, going through Nova Prospect. You turn to little golems. Little golems. Yeah, there's a laser here. Okay, I, I guess I'm being scanned. I've been photographed. No one seems to be doing anything about it, though. I guess it's just protocol and no one's actually watching the recordings. I get it. There's a lot of info to process, so you just kind of leave it to AI. But, I mean, you can't just trust computers for everything, man. I wonder what all these tubes are. Like, there are a lot of tubes. A lot of, like, and they're, like, kind of weirdly anti aliens Or aliens without the anti. Well, oh, look at those beetles. What's up with those? I've never seen those before. We've seen those before. Man, there is a look to this. This is a jerky ride. <laughs> Not very comfortable. Uh, I just looked up. Okay, okay. And I was kind of regretting it for a while there because I had no idea where was what was where was why. So uh, it's very nice of the game to give us a shortcut through the many, many, many stories of the Citadel. And just let us take the elevator. <laughs> Oh man, look at that city texture. <laughs> it's a bit flat. It's fine, it's okay. I think that's further sign that we're in the endgame. You know, where resources have to be rushed a tiny little bit more. Anyways, we're loading in the black screen now. I don't know what's going on. Did I end right before the end? Well, dark energy. Oh, and that's scary. Hi. Hey, guys. Um, are you just gonna let me... Oh. Oh. Well, that's real unfortunate. I kind of walked into I'll this, didn't I? Hey. Don't struggle. It's no use. Until you're where he wants you, there's nothing you can do. Uh. I'm sorry. Gordon. You removed my fun time. I had the fun time for exactly one video. I can't believe you do. So I still cannot. I'm not moving. I'm still in the in the Gasp. mummy machine. Inhabited by vast meteorological intelligences, worlds huh. stretched thin across the membranes where the dimensions. Intelligent intersect. weather pattern sounds it fascinating as a concept. Limited vocabulary. What I've seen is also beyond words, Breen. Genocide. Indescribable evil. Good. Hey, meeting of the minds here. Well, if it isn't Gordon Freeman at last. Wee. What's this? I'll put it over there. <laughs> he sounds drunk. Hey. Well, my gratitude, Doctor. First, you lead me straight to the doorstep of my oldest friend. Then you deliver yourself. Yeah, things are going if pretty good I for you, huh? You were going to come straight up to my office. I wouldn't have bothered. Hunting you in the first place. Turns out it was all a game. And Happy birthday, keeping, Professor Breen. I can dictate the terms of any bargain I care to make with a combine. <laughs> Dr. Breen. Huh. Wallace. Yes, Wallace. Judith, what is it? Well, okay. The bargain we should be making is for Eli's life so he can continue his research. Thanks to you, we have everything we need in that regard. You're Still more can't than qualified turn to finish degrees. his research yourself. What neither you nor I can do is convince that rabble in the streets to give up their senseless struggle. 
Yet Eli refuses to speak the words that would save them all. Save them? The for what? The harsh orange right. street if from the sunlight is the really right nice. Thing for the good of all like design-wise. Maybe you'll do it for one of them. <laughs> oh, hey. Honey. Dad. Well, we're getting kind of weirdly close. Hey. God damn you, Breen, you let her go. That's all up to you, my old friend. I like a you bunch of ice cream cones. Doom the entire species, or will you give your child the chance her mother never had? <laughs> How dare you even mention her? Alex, my dear, you have your mother's eyes, but your father's stubborn nature. You haven't seen a bit of it yet. There's boogers. Really? Well, let's see how well it serves. There's like little well, boogers, like green stains on his oh, mustache. Hey, if that's the worst you can do, send us both through your portal. <sighs> Oh, it's hardly the worst. But you might find that hard to believe once you get there. It isn't necessary. I agree. Hey. It's a total waste. <laughs> Fortunately, the resistance has <laughs> shown spinning that around. to accept a new leader. And this one oh, has yeah. proven to be a fine pawn for those who hey. control him. No! Don't listen to him, Gordon. Yeah. Oh, look, there's a, a booger. Duck, did you realize your contract was open to the highest bidder? Gordon would never make any kind of deal with you. I understand if you don't wish to discuss this in front of your friends. I'll send them on their way and then we can talk over. Yeah, this is just awkward for everyone, honestly. Dad, I'm so sorry. Alex, Judah. <laughs> Judith? What did you what do you there? Doing? We're doing what I could never do alone. <laughs> We're stopping you. Yes. Guards, get in here. <laughs> Just like unhook me and I'll punch him. They know you betrayed them. They'll turn on you, Judith, Doctor Mossman. Please. So she was playing the double agent all this time. But I feel like she could have done this earlier. Like he's just an old man. Like he's limited in what he can do. Oh sweet. All right. I'm gonna punch him. Well, or not. Now everything is white again. Uh oh, things had a bad time here. Anyone's got a shotgun? Well, everyone's doing okay. He ran away over there. Alright, Alex. He's on his way to the portal. All right, okay. What's that? TV remote. Okay. Judith, look after my father. Now we can talk through these screens. Dad, I'm not saying goodbye. That was the sound of me cycling through my non-existent weapons. Come on, Gordon. Let's go. Yeah, but I only got a gun. I'm like, I'm basically naked. I don't want to. Alright. We haven't known each other very long, but. This is true. I know you didn't have to do this. I had to rescue my father, but you. Well. <laughs> thanks for coming after yeah, me. That's fine. It wouldn't have been much of a video game hey, listen. for that. That's him. Uh huh. Oh, he doesn't want to get to send a Zen? Assuming a Zen? I don't know, actually. Yes, he is. Alright, now I'm going to punch him. I'm right behind you! Oh. Well, hey! Here's our toy. Alright. Oh. I'm already full. Well, at least I got this. Whoops, sorry. 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 I see it doesn't, doesn't do much to you. He really doesn't. I wonder where he's going. To over there. Are you gonna scan it? Are you gonna hack it? Hack the computers? Ooh, what? This is the Citadel's dark fusion reactor. Uh huh. What does that it mean? Powers their tunneling entanglement device. Sure thing. We'll never have a chance like this again. We've got to stop, Doctor. Yeah. What do you want me to do? Like, I'm okay with the intros. Tell me the verb. Tell me what verb I need to noun. Looks like he's turned over control to the other side. Uh huh. You'll have to go into the core and do what you can. Sure thing. Get in the elevator and. All right. Got it. I'm ready. It's it's fine. Later. Do your worst, Gordon. <laughs> if there's be if there's one thing you can count on me, it's to do real worse. See, that's being smart with the resources, as limited as they are, you can be. I'm gonna... Okay, there we go. 
time to game video game. Oh, there's a core. Doctor Free, there he is. Uh huh. Doctor Free, trying to. You really shouldn't be out there. At the moment of synapse, as I teleport, this chamber will be bathed in deadly particles that have yet to be named by human science. Perhaps when I have the leisure to do the work myself, I'll name one of them after you. Oh, that'd be pretty that cool. That way you won't be completely forgotten. Freedomium. When the singularity collapses, I will be far away from here. In another universe, as a matter of fact. You, on the other hand, will be destroyed in every way it is possible to be destroyed. The, the voice actor really nails this, like, this, the casual smarminess. I mean, I don't really care. Like, look, like, who cares? You just do that and they're dead. Look at that. Do I throw them in the portal? <laughs> that was a satisfying thump. Oh, hey, sweet. I can go here. Alright. Alright. Hey, don't wait for me, Breen. Okay. I see what maybe you want. Get a little bit of this. Get a little bit of that. Nope, it just bounced. Okay, well... Um, gotta, gotta be careful. Like, okay, so yeah, maybe we just want to like clean them up, like empty them, because those are like the power, right? I don't know what you. Where you at? Whoa! How did I fall? It's like something pushed me. Well, I mean, you can't listen to him if you're dead. All right. So all this time I could go here. I just didn't like notice. Pretty good at this. All right. So I think maybe my goal is to empty out the generator. Still, now there will be peeps. Like there is a finite number here. Yeah, not turned off. All right. So just like don't hang out at the edge. Maybe this might be a good idea. Look at that. Huh. Yeah, it's, I'm the janitor now. That's always been my passion. Hey, buddies. Yeah, you're dead. Whoa, pretty wacky. Yeah, and that's just, it's just forever nothing. Um, okay, I'm gonna put a save here. I think I need to, like, get close, but I not fall. I don't know fall. what you can possibly hope to achieve, apart Me from neither. your annihilation. But that's what science is all about. Annihilation. Alright, that was me gone over here. Where I can't really do much of it. Ah, hey, look at that. That thing's going down. Alright. Whoops! So, I wanted to go on the thing, right? And I think that is what you're supposed to do. But, uh, it takes a while to load, weirdly enough. But I miss I don't I uh, mistimed, rather. Well, yeah. Alright, let's just proactively chuck those things in there. There we go. No, yes, there we go. There we go. Everyone's happy. Someone's shooting me from somewhere. I don't know why. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna put a save here. That just seems like a smart thing to do. Especially if I'm gonna keep dying in dumb ways. Alright. Don't throw little orbs at me. Like, what the heck? Get out of here. Alright, I don't know where I am or what I'm doing. But these guys are not being very effective at their jobs, and uh, that's great. Great. Right, so. Oh no, Green started his ascent. Good for him. Hurry, Gordon, right, before he escapes. Look, dude. Alex, I'm doing my best here. Uh. Okay, this is not the ride I was imagining. I don't know where this is leading me. I'm just kind of going up now. Okay. Well, that's convenient. What? Where am I? Like, I don't like these transparent... Ah! I don't like these transparent floors. They freak me out. What? Oh. Was I supposed to get to ride there? I'm not sure. Like, that's what I took to get here, or I'm supposed to... Okay, so, from what I understand, Dan, like, just return on this, and then keep your ride going. That was just like a little fun time for a recharge, got it. I can't believe I can't interact with that, really, like, in any way. 
Okay, and here's my ride up, I think. I told you that was pointless, Dr. Freeman. Is it, though? Like, if it was, you wouldn't put so many guys in our OG. I barely fell that orb. Like, how does that happen? I don't know. <laughs> Sorry about the gravity there. Uh, apologizing Are about you still gravity. With us, Dr. Freeman? Not for much longer, I think. Um, it's hard to tell. If only you had harnessed your boundless energy this for is a useful purpose. Such a weird part. Oh, oh what was that? Oh, well, I can see that. Okay, that's not a ladder. I'm not sure what you expect of me at this point. Uh, oh, that's the portal. Um, someone's doing something. Oh, okay, okay well, I can do that. Can I, like, shoot that from there? I'm shooting them inside the portal and it's not really doing anything. I just keep missing that plane. Or maybe I didn't miss it. Uh, I don't really know what's expected of me here. Oh, you just like had to like burst. That was pretty rad. Like you think this would be easy to aim, because you see like right through them. Oh jeez, well you just got shattered into pieces. Yeah, like, I don't think I can do that jump. Um, I really don't. Well, he's in the portal now. I can't target the portal. Well, I- what do I do, Alex? Inside the real- Oh, okay. Okay! Oh! Freeman, who I was no aiming here, I was supposed to doing. aim there. Got it. So we do more of that. Like, now with spinning around. Oh, jeez, sorry. Green, I'm just destroying your machine here. Alright, okay. Okay, there we go. Uh, whoops, I just kind of... Oh, did I mess up? Duh. <laughs> I mean... I... I wasn't sure what I was supposed to do. Where do you put me back? Where is this? I don't know. All right. Well, okay. So I guess I go here. Are you now. still okay. with us, Doctor Freeman? Not for much longer, I right. think. Right. Yeah. This is the weird, like, if kind of diagonal. If only you had your boundless energy for a useful purpose. Save here. All right. Oh my God. The yeah. So open. now I know what's going on. But you see, like, yeah, like at first, like I was checking things. Go back, Freeman. You have no idea what you're doing. I was checking I things at the portal at first. It doesn't do anything. but I'm getting blasted in the face. So yeah, you do have to defend yourself a little bit. Don't know what you unleash. You could bring down this whole citadel. Think, man. Think of the people below. Okay, well, I destroyed the machine. All right, okay. Singularity collapse. That destroyed the planes. Alex found her way here. Through magic. Okay. Oh, we don't have much of anything. Also, I'm on the other s time stop. Time, Doctor Freeman. Oh, it's Party Man, Party G in the house. Is it really that time again? It seems as if you only just arrived. It's been You've a bit. You've done a great deal in a small time span. Oh, that done crab walk. So well, in fact, that I've received some interesting offers for your services. Ordinarily, I wouldn't contemplate them, but these are extraordinary. And you just times. time squeeze me out of here? What a weird <laughs> end. I offer you the illusion of free choice. I will take the liberty of choosing for you if and when your time 
comes round again. G-Man is a really interestingly written thing. I do apologize thing. for what must seem to you an arbitrary imposition, Dr. Freeman. I trust it will all make sense to you in the course of... Is this really how well, the game ends? I'm really not at liberty to say. This is a in decision. Meantime, wow. This is where I get off. So he puts you in time, and when you're done, you blow up the thing, he just puts you back out of time. There's a really silly cartoon door there. I cannot move. I cannot wazzy my way there. That is such a weird decision. Like, it's not really an end. Like, fortunately, there's the episodes, but that is not really an end. Wow. Okay. All right. Well, you know what? Yeah, Half-Life 2. I was kind of uh, anxious before starting, but I'm glad uh, that I, I decided to pick this game to play out of a selection of three games. This has been a lot of fun. Is Half-Life 2 now part of my favorite games ever? And will I now abandon the Marios and devote myself to military shooters until the end of time? Probably not and definitely no. But it's still a really, really interesting game. And it plays very well and is genuinely a lot of fun. Way back in video one, I said, hey, you know, if I enjoy this, yeah, I will be playing the episode, so... Check it out, next we're gonna be playing the episodes. Well, I'm gonna be playing Lost Coast, which is, from what I understand, like, a whole one video's worth of, con uh, of uh, content. And then, yeah, I'm jumping right into episodes two, uh, one and two. Basically treating this like the Rosenkranz Stilete. One big, chunky LP that keeps the numbering going. That's my decision, and I'm pretty happy with it. But, yeah, uh... This end doesn't feel like an end. There's certainly a set piece going on at the end. And in terms of story, it feels important, but in terms of playing the game, it's kind of weird and awkward. <laughs> but I mean, I think part of the problem is that they make you super invincible at the end of the game. So like, what can they do, right? Like, uh... Like, they can't just, like, pull out, oh my gosh, we got, like, super lasers here. Well, I guess they could try to Yamato cannon you or something. That was set up as a precedent. But it didn't. We got two planes that kind of shoot you, and, uh... You gotta just figure out what you want to attack. And you got plenty of time, when to know. Uh, yeah. The parts of the game, which are, like, levels and stuff, I found, as of now, super excellent. When you just gotta stop and gotta fight soldiers for half an hour, I don't like those parts nearly as much. But, I mean, the good way, 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 way outpays the bad. I don't know what the episodes are. I know nothing about them. Oh. Hey! Blast that little... Where did she get to? <laughs> oh, that's cute. Oh, that's cute! That's cute! And, yeah, so, uh, in conclusion, due to this dystopian nature of the story, I hate this game.